hating things, and making fun of people. People who like Skittles, people who have last names that could also be first names, people who have nut allergies, or really any allergies at all, just because I feel like that all could have been avoided by like rolling around in some dirt when you were a kid. People who can whistle, people whose entire sense of humor comes from the Instagram Explore page, people whose whole personality is buying books and never reading them. I will make fun of a middle-aged man's sweater and a jogging PE class who looks like his mom dressed him. I am not a nice person. But I don't consider myself a bully. I mean, trust me, I was a feminist in middle school. I am aware that words and the occasional water bottle thrown at my head can hurt even if the perpetrator is a 12-year-old boy with a Justin Bieber fringe that only a mother could love. I just want people to like better things, and I don't consider that a crime. And honestly, if a 17-year-old girl making fun of your interests causes you any offense at all, I am willing to bet your interests were not all that defensible in the first place. I mean, I embroider for fun. We've created this society that states let people enjoy things, leaving little room for critiquing the things in question. But, dear audience, I raise you this question. What if the things are terrible? Like, really bad? What then? And not in a way where I personally don't like them, because I have a surprisingly high threshold for incredibly unfunny and boring material, but sometimes there are genuine issues with interests, whether that be perpetuating harmful stereotypes or bad coping mechanisms. We need to let people critique our interests and do it ourselves too, because sometimes they need it. I mean, just because you like something doesn't make it good. And if it's not good, I get to make fun of it. Like grown men who like My Little Pony, or teenage boys who use South Park as some sort of religious text. There are stereotypes against these groups, but for good reason. I mean, mainly for the safety of women everywhere and the preservation of axe supplies in local Walmarts. But I'm not forcing you to like everything I like. I mean, your interests don't have to be completely defensible. I like Shakespeare, and you're probably all sitting there thinking, that tracks. And some of you like, I don't know, Marvel movies. I can't force you to like Shakespeare, and you can't convince me to tolerate Marvel movies. But I am a sucker for, you know, the power of friendship, military propaganda. <laughs> but I'm not going to go out here and talk about historical context, or separating the art from the artist, or cancel culture. Because frankly, I think at any time you could find 12 ongoing Twitter debates about any of these topics, and frankly, they have a higher tolerance than I do for inane discussion. The point I'm trying to hone in on is this. There are a lot of things that you should not like, and you don't have to give them a politically correct opinion. Watch this. I think Star Wars movies are boring. I think we should put every celebrity onto an island and make them all fight. Yes, every single one. They have full-time PR staffs dedicated to perfecting every single one of your opinions of them. I mean, if one thing was able to get past a group of salaried workers, imagine how terrible, okay. Getting off topic, um, men in general are only really tolerable to me when they catch things out of the air. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad. It is exhausting to pretend to like everything that everyone likes all of the time. Because even though you can and should have imperfect hobbies and favorite movies that suck, as well as play video games that haven't been updated since 2006, there is something to be said for holding yourselves to a higher standard. I mean, if your only source of literature is consuming Wattpad fan fiction, then I do consider myself better than you. <laughs> because I am. <laughs> you people would get a kick out of, I don't know, Jane Austen or something? It's time to use critical thinking and figure out if you actually just like the pretty colors and superficial storylines, or if there is genuine substance to the media you're consuming because I'm starting to get a lot of concern for you people and all of the brain rot you're hauling around from, like, Riverdale. <laughs> and please, don't confuse this with me trying to hate on popular things just because they're popular. I don't care that they're popular. I care that they suck. <laughs> and the moral of the story is this. Please like better things, but also you don't have to dislike bad things. 
And you don't have to like good things, and you should like bad things. Got it? Good. <laughs>